Hello girls, hope you all are well today. Let's continue our topic of a crow in the house for today. So girls, we have already seen that this crow named Caesar had started all his mischievous ways of troubling the neighbors of this boy who had started taking care of him. And with that, along with that, he has also started troubling the pets in the house because since they were in the cage, for example, the hornbill herald, he was in the cage. So he used to sit on top of the cage and he used to tease and trouble him. Let's see more about what happened to the Caesar. Did he lead himself into trouble because of this habit? That's what we are going to find out in this topic today. So, in time, Caesar learned to talk a little, as ravens sometimes do, in a cracked throaty voice. Staying with humans at times, even birds learn to talk in a language. For example, the best one is the parrot. He would sit for hours outside the window, banging on the glass with his beak and calling, Hello, hello. He seemed to recognize the click of the gate when I came from the school and would come to the door with hop, skip and jump saying hello, hello. So the moment the boy okay, would come from the school at the sound of the gate, opening of the gate, he would come to know that it is him who is coming and he would greet him at the door. I had also taught him to sit on my arms and say kiss kiss while he placed his head gently against my mouth. On one of Aunt Mabel's visit, Aunt Mabel is this boy's aunt okay, who used to often visit but uh, she wasn't that what you can say, uh, she didn't have a very good kind of uh, you know relationship with Caesar. So Caesar alighted on her arm and crackled kiss kiss. Aunt Mabel was delighted and possibly flattered and learned and leaned forward for a kiss. So when Caesar told Aunt Mabel as we know that Aunt Mabel was not you know in good books of Caesar but how come don't know the poet don't know that this day today that caesar when aunt mabel came caesar went and alighted and sat on her arms and said kiss kiss even aunt mabel was very happy and delighted that this bird is today showing so affection towards her that she leaned forward to kiss on his head but caesar's attention shifted from uh, shifted to my aunt's gleaming spectacles because the glasses started shining and thrusted at them with his beak he knocked them off so he went and he tried to snatch it with his beak and they fell down aunt mabel never was a success with the pets she never liked the pets and whatever pets were in the house maybe even they also hated her so even raven oh sorry even caesar was one of them now pet or pest grandmother insisted that caesar was a pest pest is the one who causes a, it's actually an insect which causes or damage the crops but over here the meaning of pest is the one who always troubles causes trouble or nuisance in the house in spite of his engaging habits if he had restricted his activities to our own house it would not have been so bad but he took to visiting neighbors houses and stealing pens and pencils hair ribbons combs keys shuttlecocks toothbrush and false teeth so this is what all he started stealing from the neighbor's house he didn't keep his activities only up to the house of shredding the newspaper then breaking the things in the house of this boy he also started visiting neighbor's house and from there he used to bring things for ex like 
to say he used to steal the things from the house he was specially fond of toothbrushes and made a collection of them on top of my cupboard in my room sales went up that year because every time he used to go out he used to steal the toothbrush from the neighbor's uh, house and so the toothbrushes were in demand that year because every time he used to go and steal the neighbor had to get a new toothbrush so did grandmother's blood pressure caesar spied on children going into the bunya shop and often snatch managed to snatch sweets from them as they came out spy means to keep an eye so whenever he saw children going to the bunya shop or the grocer's shop he used to keep an eye on them and whenever they were out of the shop he would go and snatch the sweet from them as they came out clothes peg fascinated him clothes pegs are the clips that you used to hang the clothes against the wire neighbors would return from bazaar to find their washing lying in the mud and no sign of the pegs these two found their way on top of my cupboard so whatever he used to snatch and steal that used to come and lie on the boys cupboard it was caesar's gardening activities that finally led to disaster he was helping himself to a neighbor's beans when a stick was flung at him breaking his leg so it was a uh, caesar so finally caesar was into trouble and the disaster led him or caused him a great loss he was into one of the neighbor's garden helping himself with the beans to eat and when the neighbor saw and he flung the stick which broke his leg i carried the unfortunate bird home and my grandfather and i washed and bandaged his leg as best we could but it could not mend caesar hung his head and no longer talked he grew weaker day by day refusing to eat an occasional sip sip of grandmother's homemade wine was all that kept him going so this was the second time first time when he was not keeping well was when he was found by the author then author and his grandfather took care of this bird and he started becoming and he became a family member of theirs now this was the second time when he had injured himself because of his own mischievous way and grandfather and this boy did every single uh, thing to you know to uh, cure him but it couldn't help not even the grandmother's homemade wine one morning i found him dead on the sofa his legs stiff in the air poor caesar his anti social habits had led to his early end anti social means being too much of you know social with others and troubling others i dug a shallow grave in the garden and buried him there along with all the toothbrushes and clothes pegs he had taken so much trouble to collect so when the author or this boy buried him he buried him along with the, all the things that he had snatched or he had stolen from the neighbors and it was because of his own uh habits of troubling others okay uh and having fun is what led him to his death this chapter or this episode is from uh, is written by ruskin von from grandfather's private zoo is the name of the book thank you